so um, today I'm going to be doing my first cooking video um, and I'm going to be teaching you guys how to make 15s. Um, they're these like the little marshmallow things but I'm going to teach you how to do that. Not many people know about these. So um, as you can see it's really late at night and I'm in my PJs so just ignore the fact about that. And sorry if you hear my washing machine, it's on. So it'll come on. So yeah, let's go and get straight into it. So the first thing I'm going to do is go wash my hands. So I'll do that now. Alright, so now since my hands are washed, we're going to get straight to the cooking. But first I have to tell you guys what you need. Like one ingredient. So the first thing you need is 15 digestive biscuits, desiccated coconut, glazed cherries, 2 thirds of condensed milk, and a lot of marshmallows. So what you're going to need first is like a Ziploc bag, but I don't have one of those, so I'm just going to use this one. And you're going to have to pour your 15 digestive biscuits into, oh god, I'm just going to do it separately, into the bag. Just like that. And then just air it. So you need, you're going to need something to, uh, to help you smash these biscuits into really, really fine pieces. They need to be like super fine, like as fine as bread crumbs, so um, let's get started on that. So I've already started on this, but what you need to do is get like a wooden spoon or a rolling pin and just squish it down in the bag. Um, so I'm just going to keep doing that and I'll get back to you when I'm done. So when you're done, pour it into a bowl and it should look something like this. So the next thing you're going to do is get your condensed milk, I don't know if you can see that, it's open. So you're just going to pour about two thirds of this into the mixture. So it should look something like this and you just mix it with like a wooden spoon or something. Make sure it blends with the digestives and it's going to make like a, a batter. If you need more milk you can just pour it in. So next you're going to take your cherries and you're going to get just four um, or how many you want, but I'm not too fond of fairies, so <laughs> fairies, cherries, so I'm going to take four, um, so yeah. You're just going to dice these up and they're pretty sticky. So just keep going until you want to get them as small as you want. I'd say about that small will do. So something like this should do it. I'm just cutting them really small. And then when you're done cutting them up, um, really small, pour it into your mixture. I'm just going to do this with my hands. You're just going to put those in there. Yeah, well, they're really sticky. Then mix this in. So next you're going to have to pour in your marshmallows. And pour in as much as you want. But don't pour in too much because it will just be covered in it. So I'm just going to start pouring these in. So I'm just going to put that much in and mix this up. Um, so this is what it should look like when it's all finished. Um, mixing up. And um, oh my god, it's... It smells so good. So now you're just gonna get little balls of it and spread the coconut on like the countertop and roll the balls around in it. So I'm just gonna show you now. But so you're gonna get really messy doing this, but take an amount of it, put it into your hands. Yuck. This feels so weird. I'm just gonna put this back and roll it into a ball. And then you're gonna get the Oh crap, I should have opened the marshmallows. I mean the coconut. So you can use cling film or anything to roll these about in. Um, but I'm just using my countertop and I just spread it around. And then you just roll the ball around it until it's like all done. And then you repeat the process. Keep doing this until the mixture runs out and it won't take you too long. So I'll show you it when they're all done. So um, this is the finished look. <laughs> um, so they might look a little weird for your first, sorry, my washing machine. Um, they might look a little weird for the first time to see them, but I'm not even kidding. They taste so good. And you can do them in like Christmas trees or whatever for Christmas. And um, you can do little hearts or like a balloon for your birthday or something. So it's a super cool um, bun thing. I don't know. Um, so now you have to just put them in the mi uh, microwave uh, fridge for like overnight I'd just say. These taste so good. So I'm gonna go put these in the fridge. So um, that's the video. Um, sorry, that was like a stutter. Um, that's the video. So I hope you guys liked it. And um, they, they, I'm not even kidding guys, they taste so amazing. They taste so, 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 so good. Um, and they're really, really easy to make. You don't even need that much ingredients. Um, so I, if you try it, post a comment in the down bar and let me know. And if you like it. So yeah.
This is my how to make a 15 bun. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Bye.